Well, that is an official sign. So welcome to my show, Connect with Kim. Thank you for being here tonight. It's a great way to get together in this virtual format. We hope you can enjoy the show or share new conversations, news you can use and have fun. I'm a person who likes to support, empower, and inspire everyone. I created this show so we could all stay connected. So glad you are here. Um, please keep your microphones muted so we can cut down on the background noise in case like anyone's dogs bark in the background or any cows moo, like Shelly would always tell us. Um, this session is being recorded. We do encourage audience participation. If you have any general questions about anything, we ask you um, to save them until the end of the show when we can have a chance to chat. So, so I wanna welcome Moraine back again. She came on last week to see how it was run, but we wanna welcome her back. So the message this week, it says, the amount of good luck coming your way depends on your willingness to act. So I think if we go out there and um, out of our way, um, your willingness to act, so. Well, I, actually, I took that one from a school again, you guys, because they have good quotes. They do come up with some good ones, don't they? Yeah, they had come out of a book, I think. Mm -hmm. I asked Rachel. Yeah. Okay, so now Rachel Layman changes them every day. She does. Mm -hmm. Um. So first announcement: I know it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, so you guys better wear green. Or, like Chris said, if he doesn't, I I gave got permission to go over and pinch him tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> so wear green because if you don't, maybe your works will get pinch you guys. Um, so, okay, do you guys have any big plans on for St. Patrick's Day besides working? I do. I have the St. Patrick's Day, um, St. Patrick's Day crap with the best buddies tomorrow night. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Okay. So, and my friend come on too. My friend come on tomorrow night too, my friend. My friend. So, my friend going tomorrow night. Okay, so do you guys know how we got um, a term to wear green? Does anyone know that history? So I, I, I didn't know either. Um, so why we wear green on St. Patrick's Day? So here is why we, um, the green tradition started in 1962 with a dye used to test for leaks and pipes. Now the city uses a more environmentally friendly powder made from vegetables. The powder is orange. And the fact it turns the water green led to the locals calling it leprechaun dust. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone knew that history. What city was that in? Um, It, it was in... Um, I get Ireland, I guess, because that's okay. So I googled why we were green, and that's what they came up with. So Got that's it. how the color green started for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, <laughs> that is a story I did not know. Uh, so DD March is Developmental Disability Month. So please look on our website for more information. And I know Chris and Brent talked about um, the I Am workshop this next coming week. And he did a very good job on the weekly Wednesday. You did. I just saw good today. Job, Chris. Um, so I would encourage everyone to attend that. I know, like, I already attended it before. It's a little bit different this year. So I encourage everybody to support the transitional team and then. Um, who's hosting it this year and go have some fun with them. It's a good workshop. They do a good job. Um, so I know 
Okay, so of course none of the coaches are on, so they're taking their summer vacation from us. <laughs> vacation, us good fall. Spring vacation, good fall. Yeah. Okay. So who uh, I know Chris probably is only one. What's well, probably not going to do spring sports, but who's getting ready for spring sports? All right. Look at all those people. So all of us play <laughs> volleyball on the screen. Mm -hmm. And that's coached by well, one and only Leanne Frank Father. Um, so the deadline is to register is March 21st. It's Monday. So I, I don't, so I don't know if anybody heard that on Monday, me and so me, Brent, Stephanie, um, Barb, and Zach and Dennis were on Clint Corp's show. And we're um so on March 31st, first, um, I'm sorry, March 30th. So Jersey Mike's is teaming up with um USA Games to get support the athletes by getting them all there. So I would encourage everybody to attend the Jersey Mike's, um, which is in the closest one to us is in Rossford. And all the proceeds. What time? All day, Chris. So all the proceeds go to um, USA Games. So I'm one of the athletes, so I'm promoting it. <clears throat> and so all 100% of proceeds throughout the day go to USA Games. So I think that's a good, and even if you can't make it that day, if you go the whole month of March, you can give donations to USA Games. So that's a good fundraiser that, so I know Jersey Mike's is good. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so it's located right in front of a, um, Meyer is right there in Rossford if anybody is interested in that. If you know where the old cricket uh, store was, it's that's where it's at. Okay, so it's right by Tropical Smoothie. Yep. Which is amazing as well. So I want, Thomas is joining us. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Kim. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. And who's ready for NCAA basketball? Yeah, March Madness, guys. Kim. Kim. Yeah. I have my back. I have my brackets done for it. Okay. I did brackets already. I did not. I'll get on that, okay? Okay. Tomorrow. So we're gonna so we're gonna play a game, but um so a question is if we had a million dollars, what would we do with it? So I get okay, Corey, you, you wanna start us off? I would help by paying off um the house. Um, get me a vehicle, buy us a lake house out there by my aunt and uncle. Um, give me a nice boat to drive around on the lake. Uh, and plus a fishing boat also. Um, I don't know. Stuff like that. You want to pick somebody? Um, uh, uh, the principal. Lorraine. Yeah, Lorraine. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I answer by all of those. So, well, so if I had a million dollars, uh, I'm sure I would spend some of it, but I'd want to find a good. I'm going to say a good cause, like something to donate to that would be important. So. Something more important than me, maybe. <laughs> so I have a couple of thoughts that like the, like um, to help uh, cure cancer and, you know, some different kinds of diseases and things like that. So, okay. So do you want me to pick somebody? Yes. 
All right, so I'm going to pick <clears throat> Christina. Um, I would put it in the bank so I could go back to college. What would you want to go to school for? EMT. Awesome. I pick Thomas. So I, I, can, I can ask him. So Thomas, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it, buddy? Or help me to go out and I know my staff and go to see my dad. You want to go ahead and pick somebody? I can't. Um. You know how to get the so you can go with Chris, me, or Melissa. You, know you can. Okay. Let's see if I can go with Thomas. Hang on. There we go. Thomas is muted now. Um. So he asked me what I would do with it. So I would probably start. I would definitely start with my family. Um, and of course, Rhonda's not here, so I would give some to my my boss, and I would give some to all my Special Olympics coaches because they do amazing stuff for us. Um, and then, like Lorraine said, um, I would probably go with um, a charity like Autism Awareness because my nephew has autism, and so um, to help out with students at Woodlane School as well, since. But I would say some for me. If there was any left, I would save it for me. So, Chris, do you want to go, buddy? Yeah. Uh, how many dollars I bought a Abbott laptop, a spouse, was and a, a Fitbit base. I pay me this all. Okay, Chris, I will, I will. I will save. I will save it for a. I will save it for a. I will save it for to go on a on a cruise. Wait, Melissa, aren't you taking all of us on a cruise? No, Kim. It can't be a connect with Kim cruise. Oh, okay. Never mind. It could be connect with Kim cruise. Okay, sounds good. So basically, everybody what's on the Connect with Kim show tonight goes on a cruise. No, not uh, not tonight's show. Any any of your shows, Kim. Okay, so all, so all my former guests and all my um former attendees can go on the the Connect with Kim cruise, right, Melissa? Yes, Kim. As I'm the last one, so it's back to you, Kim. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that Connect with Kim cruise. So Melissa, why don't you call my supervisor tomorrow and talk to her about it? Talk to I'll talk to her when you're not there when you're not there next next Tuesday when you when you when when you are uh, with De Dennis doing the RT. I'll talk to them when we're doing the I am workshop. Okay, you can talk to Rhonda when you're doing the I am workshop. Um, so. I want to actually, so we're going to go on a for show. So it is my pleasure to welcome Lorraine Flick. Um, since many people may not know what your work is, can you please tell us about your work? Sure. So I am the principal at Wood Lane School, and that means I get to help all the classes um, and I get to be in and out of all the rooms and meet all the kids and all the staff. And we have so much fun at the school. There's so many great things going on, um, but we work hard too. Like the learning is really difficult and challenging and, um, but there's lots of great support. So that's wonderful. And then I also get to kind of hang out with the early intervention team a little bit 
So that team of people uh, works with our um, families who have infants and toddlers. So children who are just born up until their third birthday. Um, so uh, we have a team of people who um, uh, go out and help families at their houses as well. So I get to work with both of them. It's awesome. And they work with all the schools in the county. Um, we do a lot of different things. Okay, so I have a, some questions to ask you. Okay. So we'll start off with one of my favorite. Um, so who is your hero and why? Well, I would sort of have to go with my parents um, because I feel like they taught me so much and they made me feel like I had the opportunity to do lots of things in my life. Um, and they pushed me hard. And um, and like even when you were a little kid, like when you fell down and skinned your knees, they, they didn't make a big deal out of it. They said, well, just get up and get going. So I say that to my kids sometimes now, just get up, you'll be fine. So, <laughs> um, so they did a great job of um, helping me understand that, um, that I can do lots of different things and you don't have to be the best at everything that you try, but you, it's okay to try lots of things. Cause that's the only way you'll know whether you're going to like it or whether you're going to, um, be able to excel at it. So, um, or if it maybe isn't your thing, I have some of those too, that didn't work out so good. So like, I did not do very good at junior high basketball. I'm just going to say, so, <laughs> so they were, they were great parents. Parents are amazing. Yes. They're, they start with like, um, they teach you from like ground up. So mm -hmm. They're a good support system. They were absolutely so, and they help you when you're a grown up, and they help you when you're a kid. So, mm -hmm. they help you at all ages. Yeah. Um. So, what brought you to Wood County Board of DD? Well, um, when uh, I, I was leaving uh, one position here in Bowling Green. I was a principal at one of the elementary schools here in Bowling Green. And a couple people told me that there was going to be this job open. And, um, and since I was the principal before at a different school, I, I kind of thought that, well, that might fit what I wanted to do next, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do next. And um, so I uh, had lots of thought and prayer over that and decided to put uh, my uh, resume in and apply um, and see what would happen. And um, even when I was in the interview, I could tell that I was falling in love with Wood Lane School because of the things I was learning about it. And, um, and at the time I had interviewed in the summer and I knew there was gonna be kind of a big gap, like a space between the time when I interviewed and the time that it was gonna actually be filled. So, um, so like that waiting was so hard and I um, just was so excited. And then one day they, uh, the, the, folks who were in charge at that time invited me to come in and spend a day at the school. So I got to meet the students firsthand and I got to meet some of the teachers. And um, I just really felt uh, that wonderful connection that makes the board such a wonderful place for all of us. And um, I still had to wait to find out if I was going to be selected, but eventually I was. And, um, and I feel like it's been uh, one of the most awesome jobs I've ever had. I joked, I waited my whole career to find the position at Wood Lane School. Like I worked almost 30 years to find this job. So um, I'm very happy and I hope that, um, that my work can contribute to the work that other people are doing at the school and in, with our children um, across the board at the, uh, at the board of DD. So how long have you been at the principal at Woodlane? In October this year, I will mark my 10th year anniversary. So 
I just a little, a little more than nine right now. So I'm, I'm growing up. I'm going to be 10 soon. <laughs> Maybe we have to have a big 10 year anniversary oh, no. party for you. <laughs> we'll have cupcakes for all the kids. How's that? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> so somebody just asked me that the other day, they said, well, Lorraine, how long has it been since you've been here? And I had to think for a minute and I was like, Oh, this is it. I thought that I had hit 10 earlier, but then when I did the math, I was not quite there. So that was okay. But I was in the ballpark at least. So, so you, uh, started in October. you started in October, mm -hmm. beginning yes. of October or end of October? Uh, October 1st, actually. So, well, so that is my birthday. So we have to have like a big <laughs> <laughs> So we will have a party then. How's that? Sounds good. Kim, yes. This year we'll have a, we'll have, this year we'll have a, 10 year anniversary for um, Lorraine and your fourth birthday party for you. And I'm going to do, and I'm going to be the one that's going to, and I'm going to be the, we're going to have 10 years for Lorraine and 40 for you, Kim. Sounds good. <laughs> October is a wonderful month. It is. And it's a beautiful month. So it is. So, what is your favorite thing about working at the board? You probably just said it a little bit of it. Well, I think it's uh, all the kids and families. I love the grownups too, but I love the kids and families and all my uh, professional career. That's what I've done. I started out as a teacher and then I became a principal. And um, so, and I, I got into this work because I really initially loved working with the kids. Um, and I was an elementary school teacher. So that meant that I could teach uh, kindergartners up through eighth grade. I, I was in on what's called the old license sequence. So now when the students graduate from Bowling Green or from any of the universities, their degree only lets them teach in like kindergarten through third grade or fourth through ninth grade, something like that. Um, so they, they have limits on what age group they can serve, but I can, I was able to serve everybody right up through their junior high years, um, uh, just before they went to high school. So I've taught little kids, um, that were just learning to read and I taught middle school. That was my last teaching assignment and I loved it. Um, so I love those kids who were, uh, 11, 12, 13 years old. Um, and I was their science teacher and that was super fun. So um, we got to do lots of experiments and I made a big mess all the time in the classroom with our labs. And we had to, we were always cleaning things up and, um, and trying out something new and it was just super fun. So um, I taught a lot of uh, what's called physical science. So, um, so, things about, you know, like levers and movements and um, how uh, things work together and fit together really good. So, um, so that you might be more efficient with work. Um, we talked about molecules and stuff like that. And, um, and so, so we just always had some kind of experiment going and, um, and the kids really were interested in it. And, um, and I really love that age group because, you know, they were kind of quirky and so was I. So it was a good match. Did you ever teach special ed? I did what was called co-teaching. So um, in the school where I was teaching, um, we had our students who might have been served in um, a separate room or a separate um, program. They came to my class with a special education teacher. And um, so that teacher and I planned the lessons together and we delivered the lessons together. So we had like, instead of one teacher, we had two working together. And, um, and then the kids were all mixed up in big groups. And then we worked together to help everybody. So, um, so my teaching did serve children young adults with uh, special needs, but we, but it was done in a, a different way than completely different way than Woodlane School is set up. So I'm just asking because my mom was a special needs uh, mm -hmm. teacher. Yep. 
she she taught at um, TPS Toledo Public. I think you shared that with me at one point. So, yeah, yeah. she loved it. She yep. loved it like the students. Mm -hmm. She doesn't my, teach anymore. My aunt is a teacher at um uh elementary school. I can't remember where's at close to her house. Uh, and she's, she's actually also going to school too to get her master's degree in teaching. Is it in Ohio, Corey? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she does, uh, outside of Lindsay, uh, Route 82. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, it's not far from there. Uh, starts with the G. The town that starts with the G. Um, it's not Gibsonburg. Yeah, Gibsonburg. Okay. Uh, I went to school there. Nice. I was trying to get her to come to Woodlane, but it's a little too far for her. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Nice. Yeah, teachers are amazing, and so principals. I actually communicate with one of my former high school teachers I had. Um, all the time. And I went to Perrysburg, so nothing against BG. <laughs> one of, actually, all one our of my, schools in Wood County are pretty amazing. Yeah, one of my teachers actually teaches at BG now, too. Oh, Betsy nice. Neitz. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was my um, special ed or eighth grade junior high teacher. I had her. Very good. Uh, I have it too. So, Romaine, if you ever see her at any Bowling Green meetings, you have I to I do tell see her, her yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to let her know that me and Christina sets. Who, who, who was it? Betsy Neitz. I, I didn't have a. I'm not sure where she teaches anymore now. The junior um, high. She was at, yeah, I was going to say she's at the middle school, I believe. Okay. At the middle school. She was at the middle school when I was there. Okay. She's a good teacher. Absolutely. Yeah, like where Rain says, um, I like working at Woodlane. It's a big old family, so everybody's mm -hmm. willing to help out whenever needed in any situation, scenario. Absolutely. But since I came over to school, um, I appreciate what the school does as it's, well. It's, it's all a, important work. It's just different. It is because I came over from service and support mm -hmm. to a school. And so all the teachers at the school are amazing. They truly um, teach a, or touch a kid's lives in many different directions, even though you guys might not see it, but it's true. <laughs> I would agree with you. I think they really spend a lot of time caring a lot about the kids. Um. So do you have a favorite uh, favorite? Like vacation destination? Do you travel a lot besides being principal? Um, I wouldn't say that we travel a lot. Uh, so uh, I like to explore Ohio as much as I enjoy going to like a faraway destination. So I think that Ohio has an amazing park system like the Ohio State Parks. We have some national parks. And the part of our state that I really love is sort of the southeast corner because it's got some nice rolling hills. I wouldn't call them mountains exactly, uh, but they are a, a lot more steep than what we have here in Wood County, which is, I think is no hills. Um, so, uh, so I enjoy hiking and um you know, bird watching and things like that. And uh, we have a very interesting, um, very rich historic uh, background in our state. And um, I know not everybody agrees with everything they read about it, but it's interesting for me to know that all these different people and so many events made up our state. And we actually were a, a pretty formative state in how our union was developed so I love I just love exploring Ohio a lot and 
So I'm pretty old and I've not run out of things to co-see. So, <laughs> so I think there's a lot. Well, you're, well, you're young at heart, Lorraine. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think Corey's right. got a question for us. Oh, uh, have you ever been to like Wyoming or Colorado? I have been to Colorado. So what about Wyoming? Not Wyoming. Mm -mm. Oh, you're you you would like it there if you like Colorado. Uh huh. Wyoming is way above Colorado. Okay. Um, I'm kind of I a woodsy to, person versus a mountains person. So I used to live in Casper, Wyoming. That's nice. on almost uh, a, a little past the border into Wyoming. Okay. Like Cheyenne is in the bottom corner, right corner. It's like two hour drive to Casper. Cool. So yeah, um, you should go visit there if you like the mountains. Okay, thanks. So do you recommend like a favorite national park in Ohio? Um, well, I love the Hocking Hills area. Um, uh, a couple, so during the pandemic, you know, when you couldn't really go places, our vacations were all to um, places where you could walk around outside, like they were day trips. Uh, and we went to see um, the Hopewell Indian Mounds. That was pretty interesting. And um, actually I went to Fort Meigs, like I went actually into the fort and watched the, looked at all the things in the museum and then walked the whole perimeter of the fort. Um, that was like, I hadn't been there since I was a kid. They've done a ton of stuff there and it was super interesting. So, um, so that was fun. Uh, but I do think that the Indian mounds were pretty fascinating and, um, and in the fall, uh, one of the things that we've done, we went to the pumpkin festival down in Circleville. That was pretty amazing. Um, let's see, uh, over um, in the Cleveland area, there's some nice waterfalls and things. So um, Cuyahoga, I think that's called the National Forest, State Forest, I'm not sure. Um, that's got some great hiking in it, so. Um, so anyway, oh, I just think Ohio has lots of great places to go. She's talking about fall. And it reminds me of one of my favorite places to go as a kid since I grew up in Toledo and moved to Perrysburg. Um, well, with, what with, about the Ohio cabins? Yes, that's beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, was, um, I love going to McQueen's like Orchard and picking uh -huh. the apples. Absolutely. In their donuts. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to Yellowstone? Yellowstone? No, I've not been there. Mm -mm. Um, there's four there's four parts of Yellowstone. One in the top left corner of Wyoming, one above Wyoming, can't think of the state to the to the left of that one. Then to the left of Wyoming, back in the uh, four corners right there. I think it, uh, it edges with Utah a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. It is amazing, isn't it? Yellowstone for it. Yes, it is. Um, uh, it, it's usually a day. Last time I went there was over 20, over, was in high school high school my sophomore year and that was 17 18 19 years ago nice so um but yeah it's it's really cool you gotta you get to see all kinds of stuff um uh kept it the the water one or erupts. Uh, that's really cool there. Uh, mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff there. It's really cool. Cool. Old Faithful. Yeah. I'll try to think of the name. <laughs> <laughs> Kim. Yes. I'm going to I'm going to Yellowstone National Park this August coming up. 
Cool. So, Rain, I know this is a, a popular question on the show. Mm -hmm. So, do you have like a favorite celebrity crush? <laughs> so, when I was in high school, I thought that Paul McCartney was the hottest thing under the sun, and he was one of the Beatles. So, <laughs> Do you have a favorite Beatles song? Mm. Uh, wow, that's a hard question. Um, well, so uh, so the slow song would probably be Yesterday and a uh, peppier song would be Hey Jude. <laughs> yeah. I like the song Hey Jude and one of my favorites is Yellow Submarine. Mm-hmm. Here. here, I brought my friend. Come on up. Come on. I could actually, I used to play the Yellow Submarine and guitar. Cool. The song Yellow Submarine. She's, she's getting her friend. My, my dog is here, so I don't know if he'll come and see us or not. Come here, buddy. You have to come up here so everybody can see you. <laughs> Maybe if you give it a treat. I, I brought a treat, so he might have to like, I might have to move my camera. There we go. So here's the dog. Aww. <laughs> that. There you go. So he's a golden retriever. And he'll be, he just turned four this past week. So. And what's his name? This is Dave, Dave the dog. He's big. David dog even be a good therapy dog for the students. <laughs> oh, well, I think he's a little rambunctious for that actually. So <laughs> well, you're a cutie. He is a cutie. So you don't want to look yeah. at everybody. They're all right here looking at you. He's like, no, I'm hoping to get more treats. Here. Uh, well, I you, well, you're being a good dog. So I think you deserve a couple of treats. <laughs> oh. Where is old Chris? Yep. Yeah, he still thinks he's a puppy. Chris, are you trying to get the dog to bark on camera? Well, Dave, you're, Dave, we hear all about you. <laughs> and I think you had a friend, didn't you, Dave? You had two at one time, didn't you? So he, uh, do we have other dogs? I don't know. Maybe you had two Goldens. I don't remember. Nope. So we've had previous Goldens. Um, and so, you know, as each of them uh, left us to uh, go on to their little dog heavens, uh, we got a new Golden and um, they've all been wonderful dogs, so. Well, Dave, I never see you when um, your Rain's husband comes to school to bring her stuff. Well, maybe he can ride along some point, I don't know, so. Does he like does he like cars? Right? He does like cars. So he thinks they're great. You can come up here. Here. You want to see? I don't think he's gonna come up on my well, chair. Well, he's a cute dog. He was. He is. So so another popular one, if you could sing a karaoke song at karaoke night, what would it be? Um, I would pick old songs that probably none of you know, like out of the 1940s and 1950s. Um, so I don't even know if those are in karaoke. Um, let's see, what what would I pick that was new that I, that you all might know? I wear my sunglasses at night and goofy things like that. <laughs> I don't know that song. <laughs> oh, I'll bring it to you tomorrow so you can listen to it. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I've listened to that kind of songs with my uh, mom, uh, grandma, and grandpa all the time. Okay. So we <laughs> used to do karaoke songs all the time for uh -huh. Christmas and stuff. So that's some. Uh, they did older, older songs, newer songs, all kinds, mm -hmm. all the time. So. I'll, I'll take you up on that, Ryan. You can bring that song and I'll listen to it. All right. 
Cheryl and Nagel might know what it is. Maybe. She might. She might be a little young, but she probably knows it. So. <laughs> so if you could eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would probably choose something. Um, uh, oh, the, so just, and it doesn't have to be healthy. Is that what you're telling me? Well, I guess if it's your last meal for the rest of your life. Well, do I have to keep eating it over and over again, or I just get to pick once and then I'm done? So you get to pick once. Oh, well, so I would eat a donut <laughs> with like frosting and um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know some of the other ones have been like pizza, mm -hmm. like Italian food. Well, if I had to keep choosing the same, like I could only pick one thing and I had to eat it at every meal. I would choose something like a chef salad or something like that. Cause that sounds like it would have a kind of a good, well-rounded collection of foods in it. Even if you didn't want the, like everything, every time you could have some choices, but if I just get one meal once I would choose a donut. Okay. So all the, all the teachers out there, you guys hear this? <laughs> 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 but I can't eat very many donuts because they make me gain weight. <laughs> well, I know. Donuts are good. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> so is it chocolate or glazed? More like glazed or like a maple frosting um, or like an apple fritter or um, uh, oh, so something like a uh, cream cheese frosting with pumpkin or red velvet or something cranberry something like that that'd be awesome <laughs> so you guys she's making me hungry and I'm driving into work tomorrow so who knows I might have to I give a lot of donuts, donuts. <laughs> what was that I said I give a lot of thought to donuts <laughs> Well, they, you know, I, I'm driving my car. I'm driving my car in tomorrow. So who knows? I could always stop and get some. Good. <laughs> Maybe who knows? One will end up on the range desk in the morning. Oh, no. <laughs> I know right where office is, so that's no excuse for this me, guys. <laughs> so how did you spend your holidays? like the Christmas holiday or any holiday how do you uh, spend them so we do a lot of things with family so all my children are grown up now so um, I have some grandkids and so uh, I love to have our family in and um, and we usually have a, an, a fun meal and um, I love watching the grandkids open their Christmas presents or go out and find Easter egg, you know, like do an Easter egg hunt or something like that in the yard. Um, so, so it's definitely family. And this past year, because of the past year and a half, because of COVID, we haven't had everybody in like all at one time. We did it like in small segments. So um, this past year at Thanksgiving, I went to one of our kids uh, my husband and I did, and I hardly had to cook at all. I was awesome. I didn't know what I was missing. So, <laughs> um, so that was fun too. So, so your son, your son's got to cook it all. Yeah. So, or maybe my daughter-in-law, but like, I didn't have to do the turkey or anything. It was great. So I think so, I made a pie for dessert. So once this is on our website tomorrow, you can send this to them for they can get insight to do it next year for you too <laughs> there you go hint, hint. <laughs> you can email it to him well, there you go so but that was super fun but i but we always um really just spend the holidays with family we don't really travel much all our kids all our kids live in ohio right now um so you know but in different places so we get to see them a lot and um and we like to visit with them. Her kids are pretty talented. They're, one's a musical into like a musical stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. And her son is a musician. And then her other son, I got to meet briefly. He came in to do some taxes with his mom. 
Okay, so I don't remember who that would be. Um, well, I don't so know our, how middle many sons son, you have. our middle son works with the fire department and our older, oldest son is a police officer. So um, they, they work in um, kind of people serving positions as well. Well, maybe, I don't How many, you got three kids? Three kids. Mm -hmm. Was it, do you have a son named Grant? Yes. Uh -huh. So maybe it was, I don't know, maybe it was your, I think it was Grant. I don't remember. So. Was, see, Corey, there you go. Her son's an officer. Me and Corey um, love a show cops. So can you tell your son oh. that? <laughs> and we. Yeah, I, I do love cops. I've been watching cops for a long time. Me uh, too, me too. In, in, in any cop show I've watched from Blue Bloods to Law and Order to CSI to all of it. Cool. I want Blue Bloods, I said I want Bad Boys come for you. You like the theme song back. <laughs> well, so which I haven't met this um, son, but will you tell him thank you for his service? Sure. I don't, I, every time I see a cop in uniform or a firefighter, I always tell him thank you for their service because they don't get it enough. Yeah. So I if you can that. pass that message along to your sons, that's a Absolutely. firefighter and a cop. All right. For sure. Um, so do you have a favorite sport to watch? Well, I know you're going to think this is kind of goofy, but I love high school sports. Um, I love to watch them. I love to go to them. And the reason I like that is because most kids get to, I mean, I know that they cut kids from the team sometimes, but I like that the kids get to go and try out something. And sometimes they find out they're really good at it. And sometimes they find out that it's a lot harder than they expected. Um, but even with um, like high school basketball tournaments and stuff. So I grew up in a really small town. So our high school sports program was sort of like our entertainment. Like that's what you did every weekend. You went to the football games and the basketball games and the track meets and stuff like that. And, um, and so the uh, competitive nature of high school students is really fun to watch. And, um, and I just know that they, um, hope so much to be able to win and that they hope to um, be able to make it to like tournament play. So it's, it's great to be able to see that happen. So. I know Rain's a usual um, guest at the Wildcat games. I love to come to those too. Yeah. Her and her husband. She's getting a little feisty. Yeah. <laughs> Her and her husband um, drove to Columbus when mm -hmm. both of the teams were playing at state. And that was when Corey, it was then um, the school did us that state send off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was uh, when both uh, girls and guys went four years ago. Yeah, I remember Aaron with her wildcat signs around mm -hmm. the school building. Yeah. Um, remember when she when she was when she was when she had, when she had a hair and a big ponytail. <laughs> she yes. always has her hair in a ponytail. But she had but she had a wildcat t-shirt on. Yeah. Remember that, Chloe? Yes. And then she put two mascots of wildcats in front of him, clapping for us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We miss it when Aaron and Linda Cox use their funny voice that some they used oh. to do that summer camp. Mm -hmm. So it's a tree. Yeah. So that's all the questions that I have for you. Um. So I'll I'll open it up to some the audience if they have any questions for you. If that's okay to you. Mm -hmm. Chris, go ahead. We all have obstacles, challenges. Why do you say Kyle? I still push myself. Hey, I, so say it again. I'm sorry. Why do you say Kyle? Your favorite my, color. My favorite color? Oh, you're going to laugh. It's black. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, Dorian? 
Yeah, but Rain works with Jordan. His um Oh, Jordan, uh-huh. Yes. In the early intervention program. Yeah, yeah, he crazy guy. <laughs> I think we're all a little crazy over what there. Do you think what do you say memory? What do you say memory? What do you say memory? My favorite Wait. memory? Favorite movie. 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 Oh. Um wow. So uh So my favorite serious movie was Schindler's List. So it was a movie about um, uh, a man during uh, World War II, during Hitler's regime, who helped to bring Jewish people into kind, different kinds of work so that they could be uh, saved from going to the um, concentration camps. Uh, Am I a Buckeyes fan? Is that what you're asking me, Chris? Uh, no. So I have, I'm split at my house because my dad and my sister went to Ohio State and one of my sons goes to Michigan. So we are a house divided. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant? Oh boy. Um, any place that serves donuts or ice cream. <laughs> what is what is your um dream job? Say that what, last part again. What is your dream job? My dream job. I'm living it right now. What is your vacation? To go on vacation. Well, I'm still going to stick with what I started with, which was, you know, like hanging out in some of the parks in Ohio and that kind of thing. Um, and maybe someday I'd like to go to um, Alaska or Australia. So. Hey, hey, Chris, can we get some other people? Thomas, do you have a question? Since you're unmuted. I didn't know my genetic report, but tell me I was going to just call it. Do you have a question? Yeah. What kind of what kind of part did you do? Do that? What kind of music do you listen to? Uh so mostly I listen to contemporary Christian music. Um they have lots of radio stations that plays that play that now. And then I listen to what's called jazz standards from the 1940s. <laughs> I'm not a very interesting person. <laughs> I like Taylor Swift. Yeah, Thomas likes Taylor Swift. Oh, I, I would like, not doubt that. <laughs> I like Taylor Swift. Do you have any more, Thomas? I don't think so. Okay, we'll come back to you. I think Melissa had her hand up. Melissa, do you have a question for Varane? Christina, do you, do you have a question? Yeah, I do. Okay. I want to know what Bowling Green City School you worked at. I was at Conneaut and at Crim. I went to Kenwood. Well, we missed each other. That's too bad. So, but um, but it's a great school too. So, I'm actually going to BG High School on Friday. Fun to um help Julie recruit DSPs like ah, high for school a job school. fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Melissa, do you have a question? I mean, I don't know. If she. I, I do know. real quick. Yeah. How long, how long total overall have you been working in a school district? Uh, this is either year 39 or 40. <laughs> it's a long time. <laughs> and I'm sure you love each and every day of it. No. I do actually. So what is the most, what was the most funnest place she worked at out of the whole, oh, the whole school district. That's not a fair question, Corey. Every place that you're at is the best place at the time that you're at it. 
So what what place did you like the most? I, I can't I can't pick. <laughs> every place was awesome when I was there. It was just okay. Like, I've loved every job I've ever had. I am such a lucky person to have loved the jobs that I've worked and not felt like any of them were like terrible jobs like I, that I hated them. So I'm a very lucky okay. person. I, I I get that. Um, I had another one. I can't remember what it was. So. <laughs> I, if I remember, I'll ask you. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Like we, she, I thought she had her hand up there for a minute. What's up? To me again. I know. I asked her to mute it. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. I remember. How many total animals have you had at one time? Oh, we just have one animal at a time. <laughs> no, uh, all together. Like at all one together? time. Yeah, at one time, how many animals did you have? Like cats, dogs, so answers, we, all that. We've only had one pet at a time. Uh, so we've had uh, dogs. I've had a cat. Uh, I had a guinea pig when I was a kid. Um, I had guinea I, pig. All right. See, there you go. Um, I have had goldfish, you know, those great big ones, those uh -huh. yeah, fancy ones with the big tails. Um, let's see. Uh, one of our sons had an iguana that I helped to raise. Um, that was kind of a not my favorite pet. Um, <laughs> you like snakes? We made it through. Uh, so we've had um, garter snakes that have come to our house to live in aquariums in the like the back of the garage or something for a while that the kids found in the yard, but we've never actually purchased a snake. So. Okay. Um, trying to think. I had another one. I just lost. Lost it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Chris. Can you make that next website? Well, you just have to tune in to Brent's Weekly next week and find out. Ooh, it'll be a surprise. Yep. I know who it is. I tried having this guest on several times, but stuff always came in a way. I can't wait to tune in and see who it'll be. Lorraine well, probably works with her a little bit in EI. Okay. Yeah. She works. Jordan or Jessica? You want Jordan or Jessica? Oh, what? Oh, It's not. It's none of those. She works in an EI department, but she's a EI SSA or SSA EI. Is that is that what it they're called? Yeah. 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 You need. Yes. You need. Jessica. Yeah. A Oh, Zoe. Okay. Oh, this oh. so, this so too. You want Shelly? Yeah, it's not crazy. I, well, Shelly is crazy. But, Chris, why don't you, you can tell them that, okay? Hello. Kim. Yes. I know that, that, that next week is your last show until after volleyball season is, is over with. Well, we haven't made that decision yet, Melissa. I'll announce it when we come up. Okay. Does anybody have any more uh, questions for Lorraine? Nope. Well, I want to thank Lorraine uh, for coming on and spending some time with us tonight to get to know her a little bit better. Lorraine, uh, 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 you're welcome to come back again. Okay, and Lorraine, like Chris said, you're welcome to come back anytime. All right, thank you. I'll you're try welcome. to jump on again. Yeah, fine. Nice to see you. All right. Well, and thank everybody. We'll see you guys all next week. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.